Okay, so my presentation is about rabies, or the older term is hydrophobia, but that is incorrect because they're not really afraid of water. They just can't drink water because it hurts to swallow. So, um, what is rabies? You probably know this by now, but <laughs> it's a 100% vaccine preventable disease, and it's zoonotic, which means it can be transferred from animal to human. And the most common reservoir is domestic dogs. More than 99% of human deaths due to rabies are from canines. Um, it is also a virus classified in the Lysovirus genus and in the Rhabdoviridae family. And there are also some related diseases in the same genus, like the Lago Lagos bat virus, Macola virus, and chimney bat virus, or Macola virus is not from bats, but um, essentially they have similar symptoms to rabies and a lot of them are from bats. <laughs> um, so the glossa is Greek and it's to mean fury, rape, rage, and rabies, and it is a genus of RNA viruses. Um, so the transmission is usually from saliva into a woman's wound or by mucu uh, mucosal surfaces coming into direct contact with infected saliva. Um, it can also be transmitted through infected brain tissue or nervous tissue. I imagine that's not very common though. <laughs> it is also via aerosol, which is mainly a concern for laboratory workers, not so much for uh, most people. Um, it can also be transmitted through corneal or solid organ transplants, which has happened before because it goes undiagnosed. Um, and, but it becomes non-infectious when dried out and exposed to sunlight and uh, it transmits by uh, the virus reaching the brain and replicating, which causes symptoms to show. Um, this essentially just like shows a general overview of it, like the bite and then it goes to the brain, which becomes inflamed. And, um, so there are two types of rabies. The, uh, the most common one is furious rabies, which is approximately 80% of human cases. And uh, the main symptoms are hyperactivity, hypersalivation, periods of agitation uh, that alternate with lucidity, which I think is like um, re realization of your surroundings and everything, um, hydrophobia, <laughs> and occasional, occasionally aerophobia, which is uh, the fear of air, I think. <laughs> um, and at least a coma and then death by cardiorespiratory arrest. Um, this is the most common type observed in cats, but rabies is also rare in cats. So, and then this is paralytic, or I think the older term is dumb rabies, but uh, it's around 20% of human cases, and it is less dramatic and usually longer than the furious rabies. Um, it's essentially paralysis of muscles, coma, and then death. Um, it often goes misdiagnosed, which causes rabies to go underreported. Um, and then here are the incubation periods. This is for humans. <coughs> I imagine it's pretty difficult to find this information for dogs and cats. Um, so this just shows like the incub incubation period depending on how close it is to the brain. Uh, it's pretty quick if it's very close to the brain. Um, and it's, the incubation period is generally less in the cat than in the dog and it's typically three to eight weeks. Um, speed at which clinical signs develop depends on the site of the infection, severity of the bite, and amount of virus injected in the bite. Um, so there's variants in animals. Um, so for cats, as I said, it's rare. Uh, there are 200 to 300 cases in the U.S. reported per year. Um, the outdoor cats, obviously, without vaccination, are, per, are most susceptible. Um, it's often passed through fighting with another cat or a ma another mammal. Um, and it can be one day to a year for the incubation period. Um, rabbits, it is also rare, rare, but they're particularly vulnerable to it. Um, it was by our good old man Pasteur. It was the first vaccine developed in 1880s, so rabbits were the first ones tested for the vaccine. Um, and they have been continued to be used for rabies diagnostic testing. And the incubation period is two to three weeks. 
I imagine it's so small because there's less to travel through. Um, and then they have head tremors, weakness in limbs, low appetite, and nasal discharge. Um, and then dogs, this is the first written record of rabies <laughs> in 1930 BC, the Codex of Eshnuna, I think. Um, and essentially if a person was killed by rabies from a dog, the owner of the dog would be fined heavily. <laughs> and uh, rabies in dogs has three stages. Um, prodromal, excitative, and paralytic. Um, and then for horses, uh, it's usually if they're bitten by a rabid animal in the pasture. So then they'll have aggression and coordination, head pressing, circling, lameness, muscle tremors, colic, which is seen with like everything, but <laughs> convulsions and then fever. Um, and then it's a two to nine week incubation period. And uh, usually it's recommended that they get the vaccination at three months of age and then you repeat at one year and give an annual booster for horses. Um, so this is the integrated bite case management, which is, which is essentially the diagnosis. Um, if possible, veterinarians should be notified of the diseased animal. And then the animals are quarantined for observation. Some animals may be euthanized for media evaluation, um, which I think they, I think they decapitate the animal after it's killed and then they look at the brain that way. Um, and then prophylaxis is continued during the 10 day obs observation period and treatment may be discontinued if animals proven, uh, proven to be free of rabies. And this is just showing how it travels through the nervous system and then to the brain. Um, and then here are the treatments. So there's extensive wound washing. Um, you essentially immediately flush and wash the wound for 15 minutes. <coughs> and then you should use soap and water, detergent, povidone, iodine, or other substances that can kill the rabies virus. Uh, personally, I would probably suggest still doing the post-exposure prophylaxis. <laughs> uh, and then this prevents virus entry into the central nervous system, and it includes multiple rabies shots. And there's a potential, depending on the stages, uh, <coughs> potential that you will need the rabies immunoglobulin. Uh, and administered and this just shows like the general post-exposure prophylaxis treatments. Um, so here are the categories of contact. The first category is no exposure, so like licking intact skin or feeding or touching an animal. Um, you won't need any post-exposure prophylaxis. Uh, category two is exposure and that's nibbling or minor scratches, abrasions without bleeding. And this is immediate PEP and local treatment of wound. Um, category three is severe exposure, which is, this is where the RIG comes in. Uh, and this is transdermal bites, scratches, mucous membrane contamination, and direct contact with bats. And there's my sources. <laughs> Let's give her a soft round of applause. I can't remember how Holly does with applause, whatever. Questions, comments on rabies? Since I'm your partner, I'll tell you that, you know, in the United States, there's only, what, two or three lethal cases of rabies a year, but worldwide, 60,000 people die of rabies every year. And like you said, most of them are dogs. And most of them are third world countries where the, the feral dogs aren't vaccinated at all. So yeah. it can be, I mean, 60,000, that's a pretty big chunk, but. I, I think there was one, uh, when I was looking at the World Health Organization site, I think they were doing something like, 80, if I can remember correctly, where they were like trying to get more awareness for rabies. Now, what country? I think it was Haiti. Oh, Haiti. Okay, yeah. Any country that's kind of poor and they, um, sure you know, they course. can't afford the vaccinations. When I took a virology class when I was in uh, graduate school, I remember watching a film of a person die on the film of rabies. He was tied down in the bed. It was actually an old army training film, and this was from India. This guy, this gentleman, had lived in a village in India, and this is a number of years ago, and the village was attacked by a pack of wolves. I mean, you know, this was a number of years ago, but they, it was not pleasant. Other comments, questions? Okay, thank you.